Some talented youngsters out wide, some brute force in the middle. Guys like Shillington, Leroy Lars up against Fafita and Galloway. And here come the Tigers, tonight being led out by Todd Payton, who celebrates game 250 here tonight. Earlier in the week for big Todd Payton, we asked him what this milestone means. You don't get the 250 by being a mug. Um, it's not something that a lot of players get to do, so I'm very proud of where I'm at at the moment. I guess it is another game. You know, you're only as strong as a 16 bloke standing beside you, so uh, we're just looking in to work hard for them and, and work hard with them, so uh, that's the best part about playing footy is, you know, tearing in with your mates. A little anticlimactic for the big bearded Toddy Payton starting off the bench. Such a milestone game, but it will certainly have an impact as the night goes on. Our referees tonight, Jason Robinson, fast approaching a milestone of his own in his 144th game. And the other side of the field, Chris James. Our video referee is Stephen Clark. Hope you're enjoying Super Saturday Live on Fox Sports. The second and final live game is underway. The Tigers with first use of the footy. Robert Louis to Keith Galloway. And a good straight defensive line presented by the Green Machine. Robbie Farrer moves into dummy half. Fafita. Bumps a couple. Heading sideways was an easy target there for Joel Thompson eventually, along with Bronson Harrison, co-captain tonight. They're imposing midfield, this Canberra Raiders outfit. Marshall, first chance with the football over the top. Orford, he got a touch on it. It's a knock on back downfield. One of the shortest players in the game, but if Matt Orford had an extra couple of inches on him, he could have well been an intercept. Well, he reached for the football. Unfortunately, he knocked it forward for the Canberra Raiders, but already Benji Marshall getting his hands on the football, drifting across the field. They had numbers here, the West Tigers. They're playing a compressed defensive line, the Raiders inside the Tigers' red zone. But the Tigers, they do like to shift from inside their own half, and the Raiders will have to be aware of that. Had a strong start to the season, Benji Marshall. Tigers have scored seven tries, and Benji Marshall has been directly involved in six of them. Here is the number six. And a slide through the defence there. It was very well read from the inside. It's the lock forward in Sean Fensom. And when you look at the three there, Fensom, Harrison, and also Picker, don't they get through a heap of work as the Tigers... Received the first penalty of the night, almost two minutes in. They do so just short of their 30-metre line. Well, you'd be disappointed with that. David Fern of the Canberra Raiders coach, when you play against the West Tigers, your discipline needs to be strong. You cannot give them too many chances inside your own half. And they will start their first attacking set of the night. 42 metres away from the Raiders' goal line. Hyington loses the ball. It's taken very safely by Croker. Well, that's a let-off. Is it? Hyington. Very rarely does he make those type of mistakes. This is Daniel Vito over halfway. And a lost ball here. Initially advantage Raiders will call a juice. He puts a hand up, Daniel Vito. And signals to his teammates, I'm sorry about that. But last week, his first touch of the game, he dropped the football off the kickoff. His first touch tonight, turning the football over. When you play first grade, you have to get those errors out of your game. It's unacceptable. Let's see how he recovers. And he will. Short side play here. Louis finds Utah. Little Matt. A career revival with the West Tigers. Good quick play, the ball it was. Look at the roll on the Tigers have got here. Going wide to Marshall. He finds Takiri who can't hold on to the pill. Well, the West Tigers taking advantage of the Raiders' compressed defensive line. I thought they'd spread a li little bit more in defence as they drifted down towards their try line, but they're playing compressed. There's a lot of space on the outside, and they're enticing the Tigers to go wide. And Takiri, he had a court that. That was danger time from the Canberra Raiders. 
Both teams dropping the football early. Make sure you guys pack it opposite each other. Don't angle it in. But the Tigers looking to spread the football. together, boys. And now hold. Now Mount over his legs. Out. Yep, yep, yep. Yours. Almost a scrum, that one. One. Up there. Bronson Harrison to his feet. Former West Tiger. Hasn't had a great deal of success against his former club, but gee, he's matured and improved since moving to the national capital. Shillington, taken by Farrah down low. Over the top was Simon Dwyer. There's Harrison again. Promotes the ball over halfway, almost the end of the count here for the Canberra Raiders. It's been somewhat a conservative offensive set ignoring Orford they go to McCrone kicks back towards the post good bounce for the Raiders not a bad bounce for Wade McKinnon took it easily but then ran into a couple of green jerseys in the form of Picker and also Leroy Lars that was a good option by the Raiders with McCrone kicking the football and now they've given away another penalty a head eye tackle Matty Utah looking to get heavily involved Carrying the ball forward. Just there we are, bitch. Don't Signed up in the off-season. And in the Rugby League wilderness. Over the last 18 months, Matt Utite. Looking for an opportunity. He's gained one. Through the unfortunate injury to Teniela Tuliaki. Yep. And Bo Ryan, of course, missing the early part of the year for the West Tigers. So he's looking to make oh. the most of his opportunities. That's a solid contact made by Joe Picker on Chris Hyington. Wasn't it? Here is Big Andrew for feeder. He's a physical style footballer, but G's got some uh, some soft hands, some good hands too. Galloway taking it to the line, taken by Buttress. Also Harrison playing left field again. Marshall now to Lawrence. Lawrence into Keary. So dangerous on that left perimeter for Tim Sheens. Back to Marshall. Dummies on the inside to Shernak. Finds Farah. He in turn finds for Fita. Who has tackled midfield 30 metres out from the try line? To Marshall they go. Wide to Louis. He keeps it on the carpet. A bit of pressure here for Josh Dugan, who takes the ball just on his line. Steps one. Couldn't step the second. Fullback on fullback. McKinnon. Points winner there. Good positional play there by Josh Dugan. Getting onto the football nice and early. Penuhide getting involved. Second touch of the night. The Raiders, they need to roll their sleeves up here. A fast-moving line from the West Tigers. Josh Dugan, Jared Croker, both passed fit yesterday. And obviously, David Ferner has got more than 100% confidence that both will see out the match. Otherwise, Laurie, you would have thought that Ferner would have kept David Milne in the 17 on the interchange as an emergency. He's gone with four forwards. They're yeah, very confident that Dugan will get through. But the Tigers, aggressive display in defence already. Moving hard off their line, the Raiders struggling to get out of their own red zone. And that's a terrific set of six defensively by them. And now they've got the football back to Kiri receiving it on the full. Set will start here for the Tigers, 35 out from their own line. Utah just settling things. Good to have a winger with youthful exuberance. Nothing like a winger with a little bit of experience though. And Matt Utah certainly provides that as the Tigers cross halfway. Farrah, dummies to Galloway, dummies to Fafita on the outside. Didn't break, but bent the defensive line. There's a good tackle from Fensum. Marshall gets the deflection, not played at is the call. And this is the last now for the Tigers. To Robbie Farrah and the left boot. An awkward kick. Here comes Vito, and he leaves it behind. He has his moments with the football, Daniel Vito, when the ball is in the air. And that's his second error for the night. He's got huge talent, but unfortunately at times his hands let him down, attacking the football, and at the last moment, lifting his head, having a look where the defenders were coming from. He'd be disappointed with that. His team's under pressure. The Tigers are up for the occasion. The enthusiasm's there, they've got plenty of energy, and the Raiders looking as though they're just hanging on at the moment. 
All this game has been played down this end of the field. The Tigers attacking zone. They are the master of set pieces. Let's see what they've got for us off this scrum. Louis to Marshall. Marshall to Lawrence! And the Tigers are in first. Beautifully worked. What hands. Have a look at this from the maestro. Benji Marshall. It's their favourite side of the field, the left edge. And why wouldn't it be? He's got terrific wrists, Benji Marshall, and ball control. And he plays to what the defence is doing. Drifting across field, showing it to Takiri. And he just withheld the football at the last moment to attract the defence in. You can see him there just holding it, holding it. And he, attracted, he attracted Blake Ferguson to him and then offloaded to Chris Lawrence. That is pure magic from Benji Marshall. He looks dangerous when he's drifting across the field at speed with options, players in motion, turning, showing the football. But he can make his decision at the last moment. That's what's so impressive about him. And he makes the decision based on what the defence is doing. Some people have preconceived ideas and they stick with it. But the good ones, the superstars, they adjust to what the defence is doing. Well, that's a great example there of Benji Marshall at his best. Not bad either from the little number six. It is six points to nil as we go sideline with Simon Wolford. Well, it sure was magic, Laurie. Only magic that Benji Marshall is capable of. Look, Dave Ferner, he'll be pretty disappointed with the opening exchanges from the Canberra Raiders. Talking to him during the week, the first 20 minutes of this game was a real focus during the week. They started poorly against the Broncos last week and didn't recover. A couple of errors and a couple of uh, penalties certainly has got them on the back foot early in this game. Chris Lawrence. Four tries in three games, and all four tries assisted by one B. Marshall. Fafita. Trying to move in behind the ditch there. Harris short side. Spotted an opening. Very quick to close it was Joe Picker. Louis. Grabbing it across field to link with Simon Dwyer it is. Crosses the 40 metre line, tackle number four. 71% of possession so far in this footy game to the West Tigers. Here's Dugan, but presenting a line, the home side, and you need two against the kid. Well, if you're a West Tigers fan, you're quite excited of the involvement of Marshall and Farrah, the two best players. Farrah's been a little bit quiet to start the season, but tonight already out of dummy half a couple of times, looking very dangerous. Look at the completion rate. How much footy have the Tigers had compared to the Raiders? Seven sets of not, uh, six done. Two sets only complete from the green machine. They've only had the four opportunities as well. Looks like they're going to get through another here and in good field position. Or for dummies, goes to pick up. Croker. Was for Davida. Caught the forward one. Well, on fifth tackle, you have to be aware that you may the run here, the football. There may be pressure applied from the defending team on, to force you into running. So, therefore, oh, you have to hedge your bets. You can't afford to be too flat. You have to be pushing up. It was an ordinary pass that drifted forward from Jared Croker. In fact, they were all ordinary passes coming down this left side. Every player, bar Vito, was forced to stop, turn, and get the ball from behind him. It's because they were thinking and assuming that the kick was on. Yeah. Galloway. West Tigers tonight without Liam Fulton, Bryce Gibbs, Gareth Ellis, Mark Flanagan, and also Bo Ryan. Well, they were lucky there. Yep. Canberra Raiders. That could have been a harsh call on the West Tigers. We're right to take a in look. In front of this, I thought it was a good pass from Robbie Farrah. And to Chris Hyington, and then, then turns back inside to Robert Louis. 
find properly on Chris, over teammates on the other side. Well, they needed that, Canberra. They've been under the pump. Wait for the no ball. football. Don't drift away. Chris, wait with and me. with big oh, men, when you haven't had football, nice you're vulnerable around the run. Yep. And Tim ball Sheens is the master at making Put big in. men double up with their defensive load. Dugan juggles, then heads across field. Can't get past to Keary. Or does he? He still gets the ball free. Talk a little bit later about the upper body strength of Josh Dugan. You set up a little bit of second phase football here, and now a penalty for the down, green machine. And then you didn't lean off. Well, they've had no football, the Canberra Raiders. Nope. And now they get a penalty. Yep. And they get a chance to start, start an attacking set in good field position. This will be a big response from the Raiders if they could score a try in this set of six. Well, at the very least, they should be thinking pressure. A good kick at their end of the set. Offered to restart. Ends up in very capable hands of David Shillington, who was whacked. Keith Galloway back to Warford on the inside. The player is Tom Lee Ward Lars. Taken to the ground by Chris Hyington. Inside the 20 of the Raiders. They trail by six. Buttress. Ends up with Shillington. And three metres out. Two in a row. First one over there, slow. This one slow. You've got to get up. Still yours, Swoggle. I'm behind you. Still yours. Well, they're trying to be uh, physical, the West Tigers. They know that the Raiders, they like to play it tough in the middle. And they're going to be out done in that department tonight. They're really muscling up. And they restart. Move! Playing what you would probably term conservative footy at this stage and at this Part of the field. Louis comes out of the line to McCrone. Puts some pressure on the ball. Goes back to Josh in jersey number six. He tries to push through the line. Has tackled 12 metres out from the try line. Just the second. Leroy Lars. Good contact. Hyington and also Schoenack. Allen it is in 17. Taking the place of Todd Payton in the run on side. Payton celebrating... Game 250 tonight. He does so from the interchange. Fends him slow to his feet. Buttress goes out the back and does so to Warford. On to Croker. Then to Vito. And after a nightmare start to the game, Daniel Vito collects the Green Machine's first points. Well, that's a good comeback there from the Canberra Raiders. Had no football. They get a chance from a set piece. They were able to go and score. And him. Matt Orford, a terrific ball, placed under a little bit of pressure. Six. The Tigers, a real focus of theirs tonight, is Bring to get off their eight. line hard. Their Bring line him. speed has been terrific. Okay. But if Bring you him. get off the line hard, you have to make those tackles. You can't afford Robbie. to let the attacking player get to the outside. It places pressure then on your outside defenders. Yeah, thanks. The right Just idea from Benji Marshall, but he had to make that tackle. Let's hear what the Got referee has to say. Field. You play advantage. You've hit him high, you're on the court. Alan Schoenock walks away, shaking his head. That was during the run of play. Might have been the tackle on Sean Fenton. Yeah, who was slow to his slow feet. To his feet. But the Raiders, in that field, field position when they're attacking, they need to maybe give themselves a little bit more depth or kick in behind the Tigers a little bit early. That gets them then thinking about, do we rush or do we hold back for the kick? You have to have different plans to suit different yep. styles of defence. Jared Croker, least favoured side for a left foot kicker. They can't put too much hook on this. Does strike it nicely, normally. Starting to the left, it stays left. And the Tigers lead six points to four. Now, Alan Chernak was placed on report. An incident during the run of play. Let's take a look at what the referee behind, saw and why he's behind. been placed on report. Stay behind. Nah. Well, I hope it's not that. You've got the catch swoggle. All yours. I hope it's not that. <laughs> then again, it's, it's on report. It'll be dismissed. Here is Harrison. March his way towards the 30-metre line. 
Buttress moves into dummy half again. Canberra Raiders tonight without Alan Tung and Terry Campisi. And the visitors get their third penalty on the run. Reasonably quick conversation with Robbie Farrar. Yeah, Robbie Farrar just asking the question why it was a penalty and the referee told him why. He may have been a little bit lucky here, David Chillington. Certainly no hand there. Wait for the kick. Wait for the kick. Or for the restart. Looks left, goes Take right. In line with the touch in on the 10, Matt. Wait. Wait for it's the whistle. Mulligan Wait. here. Go. Go again. Short ball. Almost a hospital pass from Glenn Buttress there. The Sean Fensom. I don't know if there'll be a thank you for that one. Here is Joe Picker. That's left quad just above the knee very heavily taped and padded as Orford crosses the ruck heads to McCrone gets past Farrah but can't get past Dwyer in 11 but Dwyer monitors the number six Fensom the 13 to Buttress McCrone now to Harrison gets on the outside of Louis had the ball available to Thompson, who couldn't hold on to it. Tell you who could, Chris Lawrence. It was nice work there by Bronson Harrison. He's got that nice little step and palm, left arm palm. He's able to skip the outside of his opponent and try and create a three on two as the West Tigers looking to spin it early. This is Aceford, straightens the attack and tries to win. Expose Matt Orford there defensively. The Ox on return to the NRL. Is more than up to it. Here is Marshall. Caught by the shoof. Matty Orford holding onto the laces, it appeared. It's red alert when Marshall has the football. Yeah. He looks sharp tonight. Galloway. On tackle four. McKinnon moves into dummy half and means Farrah is at first receiver. And Louis is wide. Wide but marked. Back to McKinnon. A little bit of open space in front of him for the West Tigers fullback. Last play here to Marshall. Keeps it on the ground. A bit of pressure for Vito at the back. Can he get out? Not this time he can't. There's good reaction there from Daniel Vito. Reggie Marshall receiving the football. Looking as though he wanted to run, run it. And at the last moment, realised the Raiders had numbered up. There was some space in behind. Matt Utah was chasing through Vito. He had to react quickly. He did that. Pounced on the football. But the chasers were there. Double interchange from David Ferner. He's rotating the props. Tom Leroy Lars and David Sillington are off the field. Dane Tills and Brett White, who returns from a one-week suspension, are on in jerseys 16 and 17 as the restart goes Good over hit. the head of Matty Orford. Gee, that was a good hit from Joe Picker. Matty Utah, should I say. Not Matty Orford, they're the same height. It's about the only similarity. Nice metres there from Aceford. Cheeky metres as Farrah moves into dummy half. Coming around the back was Hyington in 13. 25 metres out from the line. Wide and deep are the Tigers to Louis. Out the back to McKinnon. An early ball to Lawrence. On to Takiri. Lottie's still going, trying to toss off Josh McCrone. So Bronson Harrison. Louis, now to Farrah. Here's Benji. Double step, still going. Little offload to Aceford. Back to Farrah. He is monstered by Tills. Now to Louis. Last tackle, again of 49 metres and pressure at the back. Ferguson can't get out of the in goal area. Back to back to back sets for the home side. Great work from both teams. The West Tigers spreading the football from side to side. And they're really testing this Raiders defence. They're testing the honesty on the edge. They're testing them back on the inside. And they keep turning up for one another. But how long can they continue to do that? Spoke to Tim Sheens before. Monday night football, round number one. He talked about playing a 
more conservative, perhaps a more controlled football game. It didn't work in round number one. And we're seeing a little bit more ad-lib footy from the Tigers tonight, Laurie. And is that playing to their strengths? Well, I think the conditions have certainly helped them tonight in regards to their first couple of games. They were yep. played in sort of wet conditions. Yep. But tonight it's dry. They love a dry track, a fast track. They can move the football. And they play at speed and with a high intensity. It, it troubles all defences. You have to be switched on. You lapse for one moment, they find you out. Louis offloading inside to Aceford. Timmy Molson on the field. In 14. Going across is Farrah. Juggling the footy for Fita. Driven back in a dominant tackle from the Raiders as a result. Last tackle, Farrah. Marshall, run around. Grab it through. And forced to make a play at it. Blake Ferguson, another dropout for Canberra. Defensively, top shelf so far. Right, run around there with Robbie Farrah and Benji Marshall. Their kicking game is spot on. They're placing the Raiders under pressure. But defensively again, they're holding up. They can take a lot of confidence out of this, the Canberra Raiders, if they can continue to defend the way they have been. The West Tigers may become a little bit frustrated. They are a team that like to keep the scoreboard moving. And the roar you heard at Campbelltown Stadium was a double interchange from Tim Sheens. Aaron Woods is on, but the cheer was for the number 12. Todd Payton celebrating his 250th game here tonight. Ironically, he debuted at this very ground in 1996 wearing a green jersey. This is Louis. Tim Molson on the field, that's him in 14 there. He's come on for Chris Hyington. No, Hyington's still on the field. Marshall, off to Louis. Now to Payton. Very casual from the Tigers. Great offensive shape. Both sides of the ruck for the home side. Marshall. Marshall. Ah, oh, Benji! Benji Marshall, that is top shelf. The G girls aren't the only ones standing and applauding. It's happening in lounge rooms across Australia. We've seen it before, we've marvelled at his skills, but he doesn't disappoint. Well, Benji Marshall, when he's showing the football, you can't afford to plant your feet against him. And you watch Croker just plants his feet and Vito plants and they're gone. You have to stay alive. You have to continue to move. You have to have trust on the, on the inside. Soon as you stop, Marshall, good his vision is so good, he will find your weakness. He will find the player that hasn't done his job. And he did... On that occasion, he did in the first try. You have to stay alive, you have to move, you can't plant your feet. He'd be, he'd be scoring some fair Fox Sports fantasy NRL points, Benji Marshall tonight. Two try assists. And we're only 26 minutes into it. Subtle alterations to Benji Marshall's goal-kicking approach in 2011. 30 centimetres in from touch. He's got plenty of it! Oh! I think I talked it out. Sorry, Ben, as we head down to the sideline with Simon. Well, too much pressure for the Canberra Raiders defensive line. Eventually, they had to give... I was just thinking, Benji Marshall, it looked as though the Tigers had showed their hand. They were setting up right and the big sweeping play to Takiri and on the left. But Benji Marshall, he can do it both sides. The Canberra Raiders, they're on their haunches. It's going to take a massive effort for them to hold on for the remaining 13 minutes of this first half. Well, they'd be happy if they went in at 10-4, the Canberra Raiders. The amount of possession that the Tigers have had. But this is where you have to stay mentally strong. This is where you can't let the fact that you haven't had a lot of football affect your intensity. 
This is where you've got to push through that pain barrier when you're feeling fatigued. You've got to tell your body you're not tired. This is Woods in 15. Third possession already of the game as Wade McKinnon muscles his way towards the 40. Tackle number four for the West Tigers. They go to Louis, doesn't wait for the last tackle. Pumps it downfield. Josh Dugan allowing it into touch just over the 20. It was great awareness there by Josh Dugan. He had eyes on the kicker and where he kicked it yep. from. Most fullbacks would have attacked that because he was just over the 40 metre line, Robert Louis. Oh, yeah. There's either been a call or Dugan has noticed that himself. And instead of making a play at it and putting himself under pressure and his team under pressure, he just let it go. And 35 points for Benji Marshall in Fox Fantasy League. I can't remember whether I had him or not. Benji? I hope Matty was my skipper. He's almost a must-buy in this type of form. Quite sure 15 other NRL chief executives would agree. Raiders doing the tough stuff from their backfield here. Tackle number two out near the 20. Dane Tills. Up in his face was Benji Marshall. Travis Waddell is on for Canberra. A specialist hooker. That's him in 14. Dummy half. White, former Melbourne Storm player. And on the last, they go back to McCrone. He's got a good right boot on him and has got plenty on this one. Wade McKinnon was deep as it was, was forced to go probably seven or eight metres further back to take that one on the full. Well, they need a really good defensive set here, yep. the Canberra Raiders. They need to try and put a bit more pressure back on the West Tigers. They're cruising at the moment. But it's hard when you've had the energy sap. But again, that's where you have to tell yourself. Dig in. Ball out the back. Farrah, Payton. Trying to play a little bit of football into the line as he bounced off Jared Croker. Had Ashford and also Molson on his outside. Molson is now playing right wing. Farrah. Good option, left booter. Taken by Dugan. Dummies back to Ferguson. Tries to get through the line, but Woods and Payton combine to take him down. Penalty here to the Raiders. In back play, Chris Hyington is in a little bit of trouble on halfway. Geez, that's a silly play by young Aaron Woods. The Raiders are doing it tough. Hands Place on hips. He's got the it whack on the nose. How many CW? It's a silly penalty when you've got the opposition on the floor and give away cheap metres. You're just inviting them back into it. A trail by a converted try. Dane Teals. Plenty of energy and purpose in that run. Or was that forward from Waddell to Orford? Yes, it was. Silly mistake from Canberra. Rushed football. Well, that's where you need to stay calm. You haven't had the football. You feel as though you have to score. And you rush your place instead of staying controlled. They're frustrated on the interchange bench. They should be happy at the moment, Raiders. You know, things haven't been going well for them as far as possession's concerned. But they're hanging in. But when one team wants to play fast, you need to, to back it off. You need to slow the tempo down. Don't allow them to play fast. Sometimes if you're playing fast, they're playing fast. That's what they want you to do. But a fast team that's hates playing against the slow team is Lawrence. Lawrence on the inside to McKinnon up over halfway. Because they find it hard to get into that yep. set for set. Far out the back to Louis. Payton needed quick hands there. Daniel Vito knew that and was able to get to the West Tigers. And the reason why, because they're all up inside the 10. The advantage rule was being played. Well, they needed to do that. They're under 
a lot of pressure. Take it on the mark. And the Tigers have created numbers out here on that right edge. Rito was stranded. He needed to move up quickly. There they are moving. Before the ball has been cleared from the rock. Chris Hines is still getting some attention in back play. Another big set of six coming up here for Canberra. His heavy contact, Orford and Ashford. Awkward contact as well. Louis into dummy half. Farrah to Woods. Aaron is tackled. Third game for the season. Hyneton. Back into play after spending some time with the trainers and gets himself to within two metres of the Raiders' line. The Tigers looking for their third. Farrah. Back to Marshall. Short ball. Lawrence scores again. Tackle four. Just check around him. Please. Does he look confident, Chris, Chris Lawrence? I can't be sure. He's point blank just said to his teammates, no. Josh, make sure that's cleaned up. Our video yeah. referee is Stephen Clark. It's a great effort from Josh Dugan. If he hasn't scored. Holding on Trainer. around the legs is Josh McCrone. He plants the football down, does he? Or on the leg of Josh Dugan? It's not in between the legs of Josh Dugan, is it? Well, it's short there. And does it bounce up and up? I would say that's a no try. That's no. held up. That's a fantastic effort from Josh Dugan. I think when the ball touches the ground, it's short. Yep. And there's, then... There's no suggestion he's tried to advance the ball? No. No, I think it's, I think it's momentum. I think he gets under there. Dugan cannot do much there. He just gets his leg in under the football. He is lucky he didn't break his leg there, isn't he? Coming back from a calf problem. Well, I hope they don't say he's led with his leg. That was my next question. <laughs> He's protected with his leg, but I don't I think know he's if just he can bracing himself. He's bracing himself. It. He's bracing himself to try and make that tackle. Well, it can't be a try. No. Ten points to four. Just over seven minutes remaining. In this opening half. A crucial call here. Take the mark no way. try is the ruling. Held up. So the Tigers will retain the football. Tackle four. Go on, Tackle number you four. They get another shot of the green machine here. Tackle four. You need to stay on the line. What a beautiful okay. short okay. ball from Benji play? Marshall. It was to Chris Lawrence. Just play. turned into a oh. wonderful ball player, Tackle Benji four. Marshall. Okay. Here he is again. And the drop off line there is Woods, center field. It's going to be a good play in this young Woods. Yep, he's got plenty of go in him. Farrah to Louis as the option. He grubbers. Dugan is there, runs into Utah and a couple of mates. Good strength, good teamwork from the Raiders. That's outstanding. Outstanding awareness by the Raiders to get in behind Josh Dugan and force his way into the field of play. I don't know whether they would have been able to stop the West Tigers if they had to defend again. This gives them a chance to get the football up the other end of the field. Lovely kick in there by Robert Louis. In the end goal, look at the strength of Josh Dugan, keeping his body and legs moving. I want to talk about the strength of Josh Dugan, Laurie. You've been involved in the All-Stars game. And the talk amongst the players as we see a forward pass was A, Josh Dugan is just a nat, a freak. But B, how strong is this dude? Yeah, he's very strong, Josh Dugan. You have to attack him around the legs and try and get under his fin. It's a couple of times though now the Raiders forward pass when you're under fatigue you're susceptible to these type of things but when you're fatigued you keep it simple I know what they're trying to do they have their time over again a little bit more depth on that play it'll be a big set here if they can hold out 
Marshall steps one, steps a second, a third, a fourth, evades a fifth. Head across field. Beats Matty Orford. Somebody's stopping. It takes three. He's on tonight, isn't he? Benji Marshall. Todd Payton. Just settles things down. The heart rate returns to normal for Tim Sheens in the coach's box. Not quite sure if the same applies for David Ferner. Who would be praying, watching on. Four and a half minutes. Can his side hold out? Farrell to Louis. Louis to the line, and that's easy for Robert Louis. The West Tigers' lead extends. Lois struggling to hold on the Canberra Raiders. The Tigers have dominated possession, they've dominated field position, and the Raiders. For them, it feels as though they've been working the football off the line all night. Robert Louis rounds the football. Yep, there's no separation there. Just the fingers stay on the ball. I think he loses control, but the fingers are still on the football. Going back years ago, that may not have been a try. Oh, yes, I think we I think a... so. Let's take a look here. Yeah, no, that's a try. That is a try. And that's just on the back of possession. And the Raiders not being able yep. to stay strong on their line. It's where you need to be strong. They are defending your line. To their defence, as the try is rightfully awarded, to their defence, they have had hardly any of the football in the opening 36 minutes and have held out repeat sets many times already. Yeah, you can just see there... Brett White not pushing forward with Matt Orford. Orford's up on his line, and that's what you have to do when you defend your goal line. You have to push forward. But if you have one man slow to react, which is Brett White, you can see Orford in front of White. Is it opens it up for Louis to slice through with his speed and take the bigger man one on one. If White pushes up hard with Orford, Louis probably passes because he doesn't see an opening there. Is it realistic to expect? Brett White or any other front rower to be able to match it over a couple of metres with a half-back defending on their outside? Or is it is the emphasis on Matt Orford to, to realise that he's got a, a fatigue prop on his inside? I'll get back inside. to that as Benji converts. Depends where you are on the field. OK. Depends and where you are on the field and maybe what tackle count you're, you're into. But in that situation, when you're defending the line, you cannot stay still and just hold... Yeah hold where you are because yeah, momentum of the attacking player is taking you back over the line will take you over the yep. line so what even though he was tired and fatigued he had to push forward if he pushes forward louis will probably pass the fact that he doesn't push forward orford's up there's space there for him to go one-on-one -on -one with the big man and he only had to go three meters just under three minutes remaining in the half as we head down to the sideline with Simon. Well, you're right, Andy. The Canberra Raiders, they haven't had much football. But when they have had it, they've committed every schoolboy elementary error there is. We spoke last week up in Townsville about how disappointed Neil Henry would be at the way his team turned the ball over so cheaply. Well, I can say the Canberra Raiders have done exactly the same thing here tonight. And I wouldn't like to be in the dressing room at halftime. They will be on the end of some quite unpleasant comments from their coach, I would imagine. A little bit of a blow up, perhaps, from your old teammate, Dave Ferner. Utah. Over the top, look for the chip and chase. And Matty Utah gets the penalty. And on report, Swaggle. And on report. High and late, I think you're going to find here. See 11 there, but he's Did I hear a nickname for the referee of Swaggle? I think you may have done, but let's see what happens here. Matt Utah. Oh, please. Please. Yeah, no good. What's he supposed to do here? That. Mate, that'll do, man. That'll do, man. That's why you're injured as well, Jack. That will do, man. Yeah, this is not a reportable offence at all. No. Penalty. And he's done it without looking. It could be a penalty, yes. But to be on report, please. 
Schoenack and Picker placed on report and under pressure. The Canberra Raiders who trail by a dozen. 12 they'd be happy with. 16 or 18. Makes it a long 40 minutes in the second half. Good struggle. Get off the ball. Crowd has found their voice. Here is Woods trying to get to that outside shoulder of Travis Woodell. Taken to the ground by Bronson Harrison. Robbie Farrar, dummy half, across field. Peyton dummies inside. Takes the ball to the line. And the Raiders are short on the far side. That's where Marshall is, where Farrar is looking and where the Tigers go. Kick ahead from Blake Ferguson. He gets the bounce. Restarts. Bumps one. Can't bump Hyington. And a huge let off for the Green Machine. Oh, isn't it? What? Good work there by Blake Ferguson. Pouncing on that ball. Now the Raiders get an opportunity to stay only 12 behind. It'd be a bonus if they could score before half time. Massive points. The wind would be in their sails if they could do that. White carrying the ball forward solidly. And a good solid hit by Simon Dwyer initially before Todd Payton came with the assist. Again playing flat off dummy half Travis Waddell who gets the ball back. Keeps it going, oh. and Josh McCrone in an opening. Drop the ball stone cold. We'll have to take a leaf out of Dane Tilsa's book. Some of the Raiders forwards. Back with me, guys. Just Don't running come out. Don't come out. hard, gaining momentum. Really creating a, a good platform for the, the halves to work off. Josh McCrone there. Dropping the football. It was building nicely for the Raiders. Tigers have won the last five head-to-head, -head, including three last season. Of course, that two-point semi-final thriller in the national capital. The game that Terry Campisi did his knee in late in the game. Should be back mid-year, from all reports. 1-T Campisi. Last couple of seconds of the half. Entertaining half of footy. Hope you're enjoying it live on Super Saturday. As Marshall goes over the top, easily taken by Vito. He wraps around, puts it on the boot, and is speeding towards the football. But two of the back rowers were there to end play for the opening 40 minutes. That is half time. It is the Tigers 16, the Raiders 4. How are you travelling in your Fox Sports NRL fantasy so far in round number three? Sean Fensom, if he's in your side tonight, 18 points in 40 minutes of football. He gets through a ton of work, this number 13. And he's been tradesman-like in that middle third for the Canberra Raiders, but to uh, the West Tigers... Laurie, too much flair so far. Yeah, too much possession. They've dominated field position, so that's an advantage. But we know in this game, if you can get sustained periods of possession, you are capable of putting points on the board, and that's what the Raiders need to do. They need to turn the possession count around and dominate in the second half. And here we go. Town Stadium 16 4 in favour of the home side. And it will have required quite the river from Canberra coach David Ferner to turn the scoreboard around, more importantly, turn the performance around. A little flat is probably the easiest and best way to describe the Raiders in the opening 40 minutes. A high shot here from the Tigers. Robbie Farrah, the man pinged. What's well, a good way to start the second half with a penalty over the top there, Robbie Farrah. Oh, you could say that that wasn't a penalty. In line with the touchy, Josh. Touch. Right on halfway, the restart. That's exactly where Travis Waddell is secured. That is sloppy. Yep. Dane Tills runs into Simon Dwyer, also Todd Payton. Dell comes near side to McCrone. Running back towards the ruck is Harrison. He goes to Adell. Head down and back side up. Takes another four or five metres. Harrison sees something short side. He goes to Thompson. 
Taken well by Chris Lawrence. Approaching the 20 metre mark. Goes through Orford. Jared Croker. At right thigh, very heavily taped. Strapped. Thigh quad issues. Leading into this one. Brown goes to the air. Here's Ferguson. Has that been touched by the Tigers? Do I watch the footy? <laughs> uh, it was almost difficult to watch. The set of six started ordinary and finished ordinary. I don't know what was happening here, but they need to do a lot better than that in this second period if they're to score points. They didn't look like troubling the Tigers in that set. They looked a bit lost and confused with the football, the Canberra side. This is Chris Lawrence, who came into the game equal with Nathan Merritt, as top try scorers with three in two games. Talented young left centre. Langton. Back to Farrow, wide ball to Marshall. Great service from Robbie Farrow. Look at that for a kill to Molson. Further it goes to Utah. Trying to dance around. Croker does. Croker just gets a little bit of him. Denies Matt Utah his second for the night. Molson. Back to Marshall. A bullet ball to Farrow. Out the back to Louis. Numbers on and Ferguson. Gets a hand to it to deny the Tigers points. Well, he did well there, Blake Ferguson. I thought there was a try coming for the West Tigers. He was outnumbered, but somehow got his hands on the football Six and knocked off. it down. But the Raiders, with this shortened line that they're, they're offering to the West Tigers, and the Tigers are taking advantage of it. There is plenty of space on the edges, and... The Raiders aren't handling it well. Well done, though, Blake Ferguson. Stopped a certain four-pointer there. Here come the Tigers. Marshall. Inside to Utah. Time to scramble for the green machine. Woods. Has the ball been stripped? Yes, it has. That is the call from the referee. And a penalty just off centre here. Do the Tigers take the two? Or do they maintain the pressure? They are going to go for goal here. Well, I can understand the reasoning. It takes them out to a 14-point lead. And the Raiders then would have to score three times. But I thought... They may have elected to go for the four-pointer. Brett White ripping the football out. If, if he strips it, I think when you get a penalty, you always should be thinking what the opposition don't want you to do. I think the Raiders would not have wanted the, the Tigers to have another set of six on their line. They'd be happy that the Tigers are taking this shot at goal. Concede the two as opposed to risking the six. Two from three tonight for Benji Marshall. Yes. Slots this one without any problem. 18 points to four. Let's go down to Simon with a half-time report. What was said in the dressing rooms? Well, understandably, Raiders coach David Ferner very upset with his team's first half performance. The message was simple. Complete our sets, get back into the game. They're only down by 12, which is now blown out to 14. But that was the message. Coach Tim Sheens just wanted more of the same from his team. Control the footy, keep turning up and being strong defensively. Both teams still have 17 fit men. Louis takes it comfortably, offloads to Woods. Wasn't a fast-paced chase to that kickoff from Canberra and getting back to 17 metres out from his own try line was Aaron Woods. Now it's in the hands of Todd Payton. Tackle number two, centre field here for the Tigers. And numbers around the football. Aceford. 
Benji Marshall, eight from eight against Canberra. Is that going to continue at 100% here tonight? At this stage, you would have to say yes. Here is the man I speak of. Puts it down to Blake Ferguson. Great hands, a very quick turn and back into the line. He charges. On his left side was Lawrence, on his right side was Takiri, and there was no room between the two. Some steel in this Tigers defence, Laurie. Well, you always know with the Tigers whether they're on with the way that they defend. You know, they can... Yeah, they possess more attacking weapons than anyone. But it's when they defend well, they get off their line, they use their shoulders. And when they do it early in games, invariably, it lasts them. the whole 80 minutes as Orford kicks the football out on the foot. Don't the locals love that? But at the start of the season, all teams that have had victories, it's been on the back of the way that they've defended. Off-season surgeries for the man they call the Ox. Of course, a year out of the NRL. It's always going to take Matty Orford a little bit of time. A late start, as you mentioned, a few injuries. It'll be better as the year unfolds. He's just keeping a close eye on Josh Dugan. Although running that set of six, and he looked as though he was hobbling a little bit. That's not a great sign for the Raiders. As Croker knocks the football down. And six again for the Tigers. No real penalty for the Raiders there. There's the zero tackle anyway. We will keep our eye on the orange boots of Josh Dugan in back play. Bainton loses control of the football. David Shillington almost found himself in open space. Look at this from Waddell. Good metres, cheeky metres. Playing direct football through the middle of the Tigers' line. Orford. Inside ball to Tills. Brett White has been replaced. Tills remains. McCrone. Taking a little wide. Wraps around and Josh McCrone had it there. Canberra. Had a second chance at that, but knocked it on. They did so through Joel Thompson. It must be painful for David Ferner to watch some of the football at the moment from Canberra. Fenson unloading the football there to Josh McCrone. He couldn't take it. He needed to take it. Then the pass was on the ground. And Thompson, you need to come up with the football in that environment when your team's been under pressure. When the big moments roll around, you have to make a big play. Instead of keeping the West Tigers under pressure, they release it. And now the Tigers can regather their thoughts. They get a scrum and work the football down the other end of the field. Some more nose work for Chris Hyington. Thanks, well done, Josh. I think it's seen a few bumps and breaks in years past. Another little lump. Isn't going to affect the modelling career. This is Aceford. Two good young centres. Blake probably doesn't get the credit or the raps or the limelight because there's other superstars in this footy team, but a young centre really maturing into his role. It's two in a row. Penalty and an extra 10 metres because someone had something to say. Well, now, poor discipline is starting to is, unfold in this Raiders team. On the back of this penalty, someone has had a word to the referee. You just let your teammates down by doing this. You've just got to zip it and get back into the defensive line and do your job. Roddy Takiri has come from the field. We'll get an update from Simon Wolford shortly. This is Woods taken by Waddell. In came Shillington. And also Harrison for the assist. Marshall. Drop off line for Dwyer. Almost linked up there with McKinnon. Back to Farrett goes to Woods, running straight through, wants to reach out, but the ball is secure. Almost 
taped to his chest by the hands of the Raiders, and they've lost it in the run. You heard the referee say the ball went forward because you didn't heal it back properly. Well, if you didn't heal it back properly, isn't that a penalty to the Canberra Raiders? That's what we've seen in the opening fortnight. The line's on it, boys. On the line. Wait for the, the position. Yeah, don't come out early. The position don't come out early. certainly favouring the West Tigers heavily. Wait for the pill. It did in the oh, first half. Yep. There's Lottie De Curie, ice on his arm. Yes. That's not a good sign. Blake Ferguson. Look at this from Blake Ferguson. Open space in front. Here comes Wade McKinnon. Chris Lawrence is closing as well. But Blake Ferguson goes end to end for the Raiders. He's a special talent, Blake Ferguson. We're talking about big moments and taking advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. And that's his third try in Raiders colours. And it's just a great individual effort. Fending away, watch what he does here. He knows that Wade McKinnon is chasing. So he slows down. He slows down for a reason. And that reason was to accelerate again, to beat Wade McKinnon, to take the football closer to the post to give his goal kicker a better chance of converting the try. You watch him here. He knows that McKinnon's coming and then he accelerates again. Down the corridor that Lottie Takiri has just left. So a positional change there for the Tigers. And this man, the former Sharp, capitalised his third try in the green jersey already. He's a talent. Oh, yeah. He's big, he's fast, can score tries, he's good with the ball in the air, he's only young, and that may spark the Raiders into action. Croker. The centre third of the field and makes no mistake here, it's an eight point game with just under half hour remaining. Let's go down to the sideline with Simon. Well, he's only had three games for the Canberra Raiders, Blake Ferguson, but already he's a crowd favourite, a real favourite down in the nation's capital. Not such good news for the West Tigers. Lottie Takiri has his right forearm heavily iced, and they are talking about a suspected fracture, but obviously we'll have to have the scans to confirm that early in the week. What an important set this is for the Canberra Raiders. The goal here just getting to your kick. Is it Laurie after scoring points? Well, that's the bottom line is to get to your kick, but you just got to ruck the ball forward like this. Without that. No, 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 oh. knock on camera. What? Knock on camera. Yeah, disappointing there for the Raiders made some pretty easy metres through the centre did Bronson Harrison. Did that come off Todd Payton initially? Well, I think it did, and I don't think the Raiders actually touched it with their hands. I think it came off the legs of Josh Dugan. I think Todd Payton may have touched it. David, don't come out and wait for the ball. Heads in. Wait for the ball. Come together. Come together. Ball. ball That's in. where we believe Lottie Dekiri was injured. Marshall, short ball, beautiful service to Lawrence. Nicely tackled by Harrison and also Thompson. This is another of the young brigade. We spoke about a big, big set of six, Andy, Stand after points. Well, this is the biggest set yeah. in the game now for the Raiders. Play two. Three. Woods. Hasn't he got through a ton of work? 14 hit-ups, 11 tackles. Not scoring the points, but... Laying the foundation as Farrah goes to Louis. Over the top, it's been touched. So six again here. The Raiders forced to defend back-to-back -back sets. Once again. Peyton short side. Too easy for the Tigers. Too easy for Chris Hyington. And Canberra's drop ball has cost them points. Cost them points at a critical time. They're just starting to get their way back into a game. Todd Payton identifies numbers so well. 
He was on the open and then cut back to a short side. Both markers had chased. And when you're marking up on a short side, you have to have even numbers. As soon as he changed directions, uh, changed direction, it was a two on one at Hyington. He didn't need his winger in Utah. He just showed the football. He was able to force his way over and score. And that's what Todd Payton adds to this West Tigers team. Ball playing ability and can take the pressure off Louie and NG Marshall with the football. And he, he's got a halfback's brain. He can think his way around the football field. And he knows what play to come up with at the right time. Getting a standing ovation from the field is young Aaron Woods. It would be a huge moment for him. Benji Marshall looks to take it out once again to a 14-point game. No, just drifting across the face of the post. So two converted tries is the difference. Just over 23 minutes remain. Just watch Toddy Payton. Two markers going to the open. He cuts back to the short side, creates the number, and Hyington scores. He'd be disappointed, really disappointed in the Raiders' display tonight, David Ferner. He'd be happy that they're only 12 points behind because they haven't played anywhere near no. their best. And they've had only 38% of possession in almost an hour of footy. That equates to about 70 more tackles than their opponents. Strip, ball came out, then he regarded the come out. On the back of points, they give away a penalty. At crucial times, it hasn't worked, has it? No. You start to feel as though the West Tigers may in fact now in this last period of the game go on with it at what price though with Roddy Dekiri potentially nursing a broken arm down there on the bench Farah to Louie so runner is the try scorer Hyington who gets out of the initial tackle then gets up from the ground then offloads to Farah Payton out the back Marshall over the top this is beautiful from the Tigers Absolutely beautiful. It's great football. And this is what we come to expect from the West Tigers when they get it right. They challenge you everywhere. It's red alert every time they have the football. And they love these conditions. Dry football. They can move it around. They can offload the ball. And that's a lovely bit of work there by Blake Ashford. In the air, grounding the football. McCrone doing his best to get across there and stop it. But again, Blake Ferguson outnumbered. But it was the skill of the West Tigers. The ability to keep the ball alive. Up in the air, outside men, whether it's wingers or centers, they've got a freakish ability to be able to stay in the field of play and have their bodies at different angles and be able to score. The video referee will award this one. At the crucial times in this game, the pivotal moments, the Tigers have made the right decision, the Raiders have made the wrong decision. 26 points to 10. They the home side. Yeah, great work. Chris Hyington, never say, never say die attitude, just continually pumps his feet. Pushes through tackles. And what about the pass there from Toddy Payton? The flick pass. And then Benji. He had to summon up in half a second, Benji Marshall. And he takes the right options. Look at the pass here. Oh. But then Benji. Ferguson was in. He had one or two covered. But Benji knew where Ashford was. He was holding his wit. And then to do it so fast and to do it so accurately... As he has done all night, he's a superstar. Great is rolling plenty of points tonight, Benji Marshall. Now his teammates haven't made it easy for him in regards to conversions. Another difficult one. Oh! 
Benj! Benj! Is there a smile here? He's, I think he's kicked the ground before he's hit the football, hasn't he? It's a bit like my golf shot. My club hitting the ground before the ball. He's got a sword club at now. That's an early nominee for worst of the year as we go down to the sideline with Simon. Well, if you keep turning the ball over and inviting the Tigers into your own half on the back of ill discipline, you're going to pay the ultimate price, and the Raiders certainly have done that tonight. Look, Benji Marshall, he's always had that attacking ability, but it's the maturity he plays with lately that has now made him in the top couple of playmakers in the game. He plays with a lot more maturity, a lot more control, Benji Marshall, and he's taken his game to a whole new level. Hoping he hasn't hurt that right foot as he goes for a 40-20. Does he get the bounce? You bet. <laughs> well, he may have... If I say another thing, you think I'm going to have a crush on him. And it's not. I promise. But he is just that good to watch. Well, after the way he attempted that conversion... You would have thought, oh, well, the confidence may be down a touch, but then he gets the football on his next play. Bang, 40 20. The crowd, they're happy. Oh, this could get ugly for the Stay Canberra Raiders. Their body Bring language in, is not feet. great. Bring it in, boys. But we'll learn a yeah, lot about both teams here. Over, over see whether the West Tigers well, want to be ruthless. Because they want to be ruthless, they will score 50. 16-point game. The doors about to open wide here. Hyington again with some second-phase football from Farrah to Payton. Over the top to Lawrence. He straightens. It's taken by Thompson and also McCrone. Five tries to two, and they've been spectacular ones as well. Farrah to Galloway. Give it to Benji, says the big prop. Louis bumps off his opposing number. Goes in front of Molson to Utah. Tackle number four. Just on that 10-metre line. Farrow Crossfield. Marshall's there as well. Plays the front man, Dwight. Ball goes to ground. It was intended for Tim Molson, but didn't find his hands. We've got... A couple of key forwards missing the West Tigers. Bryce Gibbs, yep. Liam Fulton, Gareth Ellis. But some of the youngsters have played well tonight. It's going to be hard to push Aaron Woods out of first grade. Woods has been outstanding. Yep. Dwyer looks an exciting prospect. You know, they've got plenty of depth. They didn't recruit heavily in the offseason. Matt Utah is only, yep. you know, the only person of note that they bought. And he's doing a role for them out there on the right wing. Which I don't even a lot know quicker than what he has done in the past too, I must say. I don't even know if he was buying that Utah. I think more like reviving that Utah mm. because he was playing park footy last year. Oh, McKinnon! And big Trevor Thurley. Josh Dugan was in there as well. Gee, that was contact. This is Molson. Well, he's prepared to get down there, try and use his shoulders. I think he copped a knock to the head there, Big Trevor. Utah spinning it out the back. It's been touched, so six again. Hyington looked to release the football again. Sided against it late as he was making his way to the ground. Orford is identified by the much bigger man in Galloway. Louis runs it across field. The inside runner, a couple more kilos on Andrew Fafita, so he took it into the line. This is Marshall. Back to Dwight. Raiders on their heels. Sure. To Marshall. Taken nicely by Ferguson. And a few words between the pair. And throw one, Benj. And a penalty here I'm right in front. I'm going, Jake. Yep. Up easy, easy. You've got the penalty. Take away, Cliff. Take away. A lot of words and a bit of feeling have crept into this at about the hour mark. 
couple of times. They just need to tap and go on with the job here. They're going for goal. 16 points okay. in yeah, front. Well, yeah. taking the conservative approach. They're desperate. Yeah. Is Travis this Robbie Farrell. Farrell just trying to calm things down a little bit? Bit of niggle in the game. He doesn't want it. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he may do, but um, there's points there. They're out their feet, the camera side. You know, I know they've had no possession, but they look like scoring at will, the Tigers. Stay there, boys. They've got them covered everywhere. If they want to attack them through the middle, they will get them. If they want to go wide, there's some options there. Not looking good. If you're a Raiders supporter. I can't recall such lopsided possession statistics from what we've seen here, 65 minutes in as the flags go up, 64% Tigers footy, 36% Canberra footy. Yeah, well, they've made mistakes and they've given away penalties. They've given away eight penalties. The discipline's been poor. Cheap turnovers. There's Marshall and Blake Ferguson, Lee coming to blows. But they're a very good team, the Rogues. Got some experienced players. They've got... Good young players, but this year they haven't produced. Round one, they were good. Yep. Against the Broncos, they underperformed. And against the West Tigers, they're underperforming. 28 points to 10, 14 minutes remaining. Robbie Farrell looking for some room through the middle. Flung to the ground by Thurling and also Thompson. This is Galloway. Good performance from Keith tonight. 12 hit ups. 11 tackles. Shernak in 17. Downfield we go. Well, Fugan lets it bounce, and the bounce is a good one. An easy one. No decision needed to be made by the Canberra fullback, who races back up to the 20 metre. And there is no reward there whatsoever for Josh Dugan no. to race the ball back. Well, the referees should be in trouble for that. Because he raced the football. They had time. Everyone was on side. Yep. And they held him up. If they're going to have that rule, they've got to allow the players to do it. <laughs> Take a look. Dugan. Well, you look where he runs there. from. Yeah, he's in the centre, part of the field. Trying to get up over halfway here. The crowd on this near side grandstand thought it was a drop ball in the play the ball. A crone across field, Orford, and picks out Picker. Last tackle for the Canberra Raiders. Picker. Injured as Orford, Banana kicks it into some space, centre field. Wade McKinnon dummies to right. Goes through the defensive line. Not going to get past Big Dane Tills. 16, wait here. Two. Jason Shernak in 16. Utah. He's powerful, isn't he, Matt Utah, when he runs the Well, look at the... Oh, the ball's come free. And play on as the call. Here go the Tigers. And out in open space. Andrew Fafita. Well, the big right looked like a tractor on Conrad Strait. He did not belong, but he's collected the points. He's got plenty of speed for a big man. Just pushing away some feeble defence there by the Raiders. Dugan, the last line of defence, couldn't make the tackle. Just carrying it forward out of Waddell, out of Croker. Utah in the ball is out the back. Pushed away from Thurling, pushed away from Dugan. And then the dive. I think you got the dive wrong. <laughs> the body collapsed on the dive. Utah rolling it out the back. But the Canberra Raiders struggle tonight against this West Tigers team. It'll be very impressive. They were slow to start round one against the Bulldogs. And they better last week against the Warriors. And tonight, they've played great.
What about the look on the faces of the teammates when a front rower scores a 50 metre try? It is all smiles. Well, he's got some talent last year. Yeah. We got a taste of that, but only in short spurts. Didn't play a lot of football. Mm. He's leaner, he's fitter. He's trying to establish himself in this West Tigers outfit. He's definitely a part of their best 17. Yep. But he wouldn't be happy with playing off the interchange bench. He wants to start as Benji Marshall. Never looked like missing that one, Benji. And it's a carve up. The West Tigers, 34, Raiders 10. And Benji's dominance over the green machine continues. This is the play from Utah. Was it stripped? Was it dropped? Did it go forward? Did it go backwards? Doesn't matter what we think at the moment. The referee said play on. Once again, Louis off to Galloway. Still 10 minutes to go and potentially plenty more points from this West's outfit. Turnaround for the Raiders is going to be required as Dwyer loses the football. Orford comes away with it. And the Raiders are at home to the Gold Coast Titans and the winless Gold Coast Titans next week. It doesn't matter whether they're away from home no. or at home. With the way that they're playing and giving up possession and poor discipline, they won't beat anyone. Galloway jumper tosses Waddell to the ground, 10 metres out from the line. This is Leroy Lars. Here's a big unit. McCrone out the back to Dugan. Back to McCrone. Chips it on the third. Ferguson. Has Blake Ferguson produced some magic here? He has. To get this over the line, but inside the sideline, he had no space and no right to score this if, in fact, he's he got it down. I, I think he scored it. And in a beaten team, Blake Ferguson can hold his head high. He's been terrific. I couldn't understand why the kick was put in. No. I know he's very good but. in the air, Blake Ferguson, but tackle three. It was almost a what do you do now type play. Everyone's on side. That's the first thing we're going to look at. Stephen Clark's the video ref. Look at this from Ferguson. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. After a long summer of cricket and tennis and golf, isn't it great to have the footy back? See moments of magic like that from Blake Ferguson, what we've seen from Benji Marshall. Love it. Yeah, Blake Ferguson. He's a, a man to watch this season. He's in for a good year. Individually. Held his hit end of the bargain up tonight. Yeah, good double for Blake tonight. He's got plenty of work to do. Got great strength. He's got good speed. We saw in the last try that he scored. Broken out from the sideline. Just pushed it across the face of the uprights. 48 points in total. The Tigers 34 lead the Raiders 14. It was ad lib footy. Perhaps it was a little lucky as well. Well, he was lucky. McCrone was lucky that that came off. Yeah. I'm sure David Ferner would have been sitting there in the coach's box going, What the? Yeah. A what the play. Oh, yes. Restart. Not that there's been a lot of them from the Tigers. Off to Tills. You know what's, what, you know what's after what the? Nope. <laughs> Do you I care to say. expand? No. No. I'm staying right out. Here is Vito. Get Toddy back out there. He has to finish the game. The man of the moment, Toddy Payton, 250 NRL games. Congratulations to him. Looks as though he's going to finish with a win. Leroy Lars and Galloway are shaping up in back play here as play continues. 
and they've circled each other like prize fighters for the best part of 15 seconds and Tom Leroy Lars has been taken from the field as the Raiders drop the ball 25 metres out from the line but that would have been too big that would have that was shaping up as something reasonable in back play you can see them <laughs> yeah the referee was there some big big boys imagine facing up to Tom Leroy Lars he's the type of guy that would do bicep curls on the squat right Right here, heads down. Robbie Keith Galloway down. wasn't going Next anywhere. He wasn't backing down. Out. Over his legs. Down. I think it would have been a, a great match. Uh, Lawrence is tackled and injured here. Oh dear. By Josh McCrone. Oh no. Let's hope this is not a downer already. Lottie Takiri with a suspected fractured arm. <laughs> Ooh, oh, right knee, ankle, knee. And there is panic on the West Tigers bench already. Just caught in an awkward situation, Chris Lawrence. Oh. In fact, he, he was grabbing up near, just below his, his back, so just below the his bum. Thing, was it? it yeah. Hamstring or groin. We've seen a couple of occasions where legs are split. Luke O'Donnell comes to mind where you're tearing the muscle off your bone. I, I certainly hope that's not the case, but it could, it could be a number of things. I mean, they're going to pay the price tonight, the West Tigers. It's been a, a great display of football from them, but to lose Lottie to Kiri. To Kiri your left winger and now with six minutes to go to lose your left center and Chris Lawrence and he looks in all sorts of trouble there with a lower limb injury he's still grabbing that upper leg it could be Holding it could him. be ankle it could be knee it could be hamstring groin groin our man Simon Wolford I'm sure Will give us the latest. Dr. Wolford. Now let's see. It just oh. The West Tigers players immediately around Chris Lawrence knew straight away. Reasonable crowd here at Campbelltown. Just a, a couple over 14,000. Plenty more of you watching on Fox Sports. Hope you're enjoying your night. You know, the one part of the footy you just hate. Oh, Chris Lawrence being stretched from the field. One of the rising superstars of the game. And he is in all sorts. Yeah, it's not a great sight when anyone is taken from the field like that. Double knock on as play restarted. Simon Dwyer filling in at left centre. Wade McKinnon is playing left wing. Keep your head in. Stay with us, boys. So the West Tigers side at the moment positionally, it looks nothing like it did some 80 minutes ago. Orford from the back of the scrum goes to McCrow, wide to Croker, immediately tries to get on the outside of Utah, pushing towards the sideline. Good strength from the Tigers, good support from Vida. Solid tackle, Alan Chernak on Sean Fensom, 23 metres out from the try line. Was there a little knock on at halfback, the referee, uh, dummy half, the Referees say no. Orford's to the right. To the left is this man, McCrone, who goes wide to Vito, steps off the left, heads towards the line, attracts plenty of defenders who deny what was Peyton around the cards. Five remain. Here's Dugan! 
It's mathematical only. Josh Dugan scoring points on his NRL return. Very good little kick there from Joshy McCrone. Dugan with a shake-up with this West Tigers team and the way that their formation is now. Players are defending out of position. And that was one of the reasons that Dugan was able to pounce there on that kick. Tim Moulton making his way back from a, a knee reconstruction. is playing fullback, but just caught out of touch. But it's always difficult to defend those type yep. of kicks. It's going to be too late for the Canberra Raiders. Massive day of rugby league on Australia's sports leader tomorrow. The Warriors and the Dragons. It is live on Fox Sports. Midday Australia time from Mount Smart Stadium. And then following that, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs and the Sydney Roosters. A 2 p.m. kickoff from ANZ Stadium. The Dogs and Roosters. The rivalry continues. We hope you can join us on Fox Sports 2 and Fox Sports 2 HD tomorrow. So, a convincing Tigers victory tonight, but at what price to Kiri Lawrence? Well, it's been overshadowed, Sideline, hasn't it? Very much so. Very much so. Dugan, it goes back to Tills. From a standing start. It's within a couple of metres of the 30, Waddell, McCrone, now to Harrison, Thompson. Played it, played it, played it. Knock on. It was played at by the Tigers. And they've ruled a knock on. Joel Thompson trying to just pass the football in a crowded corridor. Just being knocked down there by the West Tigers. Ferguson. Stay down. He's coming to cramp. He's stretching up. Bring it up, boys. Wade McKinnon just touching the football there. Raiders trying to use the football. They'd be hoping here, the West Tigers, that they can see no more points. Stand up, mate. Hopefully it's the last scrum of the game. Let's not stuff it up. <laughs> Great instructions. I like that. Lean off, Raiders. Lean off. Let him in. Let him in. You need to be careful. A penalty yeah, may be given here. Yep. Down. Crone. Out to Croker. Trying to get on the outside of Utah. Does first time around. Throws the ball back infield. Because he was headed over the sideline, it was taken by the Tigers. So good, desperate, and powerful defence from Wests there. Well, the last time we had the football, Jared Croker, he tried to beat Utah on the outside. And he held him and nearly pushed him over the sideline. Next time, Croker runs, doing the same thing. Utah grabs hold of him. Looks as though he's going to throw him over the sideline. He gets rid of the football, straight back into the arms. Is off it. A little bit of open space with the little legs take him. His one. V's mine. This is Blake Ferguson one on one with Wade McKinnon and Ferguson claims a hat trick. He's very impressive every time you see him, Blake Ferguson. He still had a lot of work to do. Just dropping the ball there, Keith Galloway. That's a bit sloppy. He's been good all night. Orford, knowing he couldn't go to distance, finds a lovely pass to Blake Ferguson. Still had a lot to do there. And then he pushed away from Wade McKinnon. He backs himself. He's got a bright future. He's a future star, this kid. That's three for the night. Not a great deal of urgency to get the ball back to Jared Croker. They've wasted the best part of 40 seconds here. It was all urgent when they scored last through Dugan. There might be just enough time for a tackle or two. Broker sprays this one, a 10-point game. Let's head down to the sideline with Simon. A quick update on Chris Lawrence. Yeah, Chris Lawrence, you were right, Andy. It's a right hip injury, obviously a very serious one for him to be stretched off. And you could only imagine he's going to be spending an extended time on the sideline, which is not good news for the West Tigers. Stay on. Well, the, he was clutching that, that hip or just below as he was uh, lying prone and then stretching from the field. Our wishes with Chris. Where to for the West Tigers now? Away 
with the Roosters next week. Then South Sydney at home. That is the next fortnight for you Tigers fans. Matt Orford goes to ground as the siren sounds. And that is it here at Campbelltown Stadium. 11 tries in 80 minutes of football. The Tigers 34 have defeated the Raiders 24.